This section heading is called Easing Administration with PuTTY. So now if we run PuTTY, what you're going to find under the Saved Session section is a hyperlink. Now what we're doing with this hyperlink is we're storing session settings inside of it, such as logging, where we're going, and also the connection type that we're using to get there are all stored within this link. So that all an administrator has to do to connect to a device with all those settings is simply just double click the hyperlink. So now what we're going to do in here is we're just going to demonstrate how to create one. So we're going to highlight and click delete. So the first thing that we're going to do for this session is we're going to adjust logging settings. Now the reason we're doing this is because we're in this lab as Alice, the administrator, and at her company, your bank, any configuration changes must be signed off by an administrator before they can actually save what they've done on the device. So what she's doing is she's basically going to take a copy of everything she's doing and seeing within the terminal and having it go to a log file. So to do this, we're going to adjust it to log all session output. We're going to always append to the end and we will not flush the log file frequently. Now when she's saving this file, it's going to have to go according to company policy, where they're going to have a particular format for a name. Now she's going to use some of Putty's features to kind of automate this whole process. So you can see over here we see certain characters. So let's do a browse. So here's that naming convention that the company wants you to use. So it specifies the employee that's doing the management, the device that they're managing, and then the current date. And this is the typical US format for a date where we have the month, day, and then year. So we're going to type Alice dot, and then we're going to say and host. So when we're adjusting our connection, we're going to specify a host that we're connecting to. And then Putty's got to automatically populate that into the file name. And then we're going to do and month dot and day dot and year. So Putty will figure this information out and automatically populate it in. We're going to check this box saying open as read only and we'll make sure that the desktop is selected. And then we'll click save. So all of the logging settings are adjusted. Now we're going to go over to session. So for the session, we're going to specify the device that we're looking to establish this session with. And this can be either a host name or IP address. So we're going to type over here, yourbank.com. And once again, this is where we're defining it so that and host will populate it into the file name. So now we're going to use SSH as the connection type. And this is going according to company policy, which specifies that you need encrypted communications during your remote management. So once we've got all of that adjusted, we're going to save all of those settings for that session inside of a hyperlink. So now when doing this, we're going to have a particular way that we're going to save the session. So it's going to identify the connection type and also the device that we're managing. So once again, this is yourbank.com. And then we'll click Save. So now if we close this out and we run PuTTY again, we can see the hyperlink is here. Now you have the option to double click the hyperlink or simply highlight and then click open. So I'm going to suggest that you highlight and click open because it opens the shell a lot faster. So now we're going to be going in as the support user and then we'll type the password for that support user.